nights at 11.30 Eastern every night of the week. Look for it on CNN. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, there's no sound on this. I feel like there ought to be... Like, most of this game has pleasing, upbeat music. You're waiting at some upscale store. But, uh... <laughs> oh! Wombat, okay. You're feeling anx anxious because you drink non-decaffeinated coffee. Isn't that weird sometimes? How, like, you'll feel something downwind of another thing that happened to or in your body. And you'll have to, like, flounder for the reason. It, like... Like, it's not your body, you know? You should know. Truly, the more I've come to think about my body as a separate entity than myself that's connected, you know? Like, it's almost like I have a psychic twin. And we influence how, we, how each other feels. But we don't always, like, know what's going on with each other. That's kind of how it feels sometimes. And I've tried to, like, when I, when I think about it like that, Suddenly my relationship with my body's gotten a lot better uh, because I don't think about it as like a tool that's malfunctioning. I think about it like another living, breathing thing whose language I have to figure out and who I have to empathize with and who I have to work with constructively as opposed to like getting mad at. So anyway, I can, I can certainly empathize with the sensation of feeling like something's off and then uh, having to like figure out in reverse why that is. The disconnection between understanding and what's going on with one's body. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think the um, the mistaken assumption that your body is not like a very nuanced car that needs to be like serviced and tuned and maintained and loved. I think that leads to a lot of a lot of uh, decline in quality of life. I think. But then again, I think it's just personal decision. Um, some people don't maintain their cars, and their cars run like shit, and then they don't care. Uh, they'd rather spend that time doing something else, so whatever. I guess the ultimate shame is that if, so if somebody's living in, uh, pain or discomfort, and they don't know why. That's the sad. Alright, but we're not gonna do that today. Well, I guess we are, actually. Um, I wouldn't say this is a comfortable game. That's not the point. This is not comfy time gaming. Uh, we, we do intense, hard, real gaming. So that we can comfy time game later. Because you, you'll never be more comfy gaming than when you've had a workout first. And maybe like a nice healthy meal so you don't feel like shit either. Keep your posture straight. Okay. Opening thoughts for the day. I Three, got. two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Make sure your back is straight. Last time. All right. I Good. forgot. You need to turn Next on the compressor to the make this work. Stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. Focus on moving the insides of your ankles upward. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Don't let your knees move too far forward. Make sure your toes are pointed straight ahead of you. Let's do one more of each. All right, good. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Be sure to keep your lower back straight. As you exhale, begin to lean. Let's do one more of each. Great job. Oh, all right. All right. So here's, here's also the deal about today. Monitor, no way. I can't even get to it now. Um, normally, well, for, I, I would say, like, for the past couple of weeks, anytime I've streamed Ring Fit, there's something else timed that I had to do after. I had, like, a call or email or whatever. Like, I had to, I had to, I had to get it, get it moving. So I would typically end where the game asked me to. But I'm not going to do that this time because I don't have anything after this. So I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to try to put in a bit of a beefier workout. 
Oh, damn. Not giving me a mouse cursor. Why are you doing that? Hold on a second. Oh, boy, it's coming. And yeah, I guess those monitors aren't touching. So if it disconnects my main one, I have no way to get my mouse cursor over to it. How strange. Anyway, this is what I was going to do. Turn on compressor. There we go. Okay, so now if I shout over the game, hopefully the game's audio will duck. And it'll be here to hear me. But it is, it is very challenging for me to talk over the game because this mic is... It's very good up close. Not so good far away, that's on purpose, so that, like, room noise doesn't get picked up. But, uh... Oh, wait, there's, there's maybe one more thing I could do with the mic. I think I have a noise gate that I could turn off. Oh, boy. Now you can hear it all. Now you can hear it all! Yeah, that's not... Well, that's, that's quite a... Well, I gotta project if I'm back in the room, but... Ah, it's gonna hear like I'm... It's gonna sound like I'm in a room. Because guess what? I'm in a room. Halo, we're Battlefield currently. Young Turkey. Can't believe I'm going to say this, but Halo. Halo's in way better shape. It doesn't quite offer the same sort of ridiculous experience Battlefield does, but Battlefield's kind of, fuck, kind of fucked up right now. Um, it's run pretty well for me. Um, and if... If all of my friends were like playing Battlefield and having a good time in Battlefield, I'd probably say I probably have ha would have had a better time in that game. But man, everyone everyone is like I don't know the energy around it's it's weird to say, but the energy around Halo is really positive right now, and that's important because it's a multiplayer game. Like it's it's not immaterial to your game time, and I'm not saying that just because of sentiment or anything like that. It actually functionally does impact how you play. So if it, let me put it this way, whatever game you have a crew for. <laughs> and they they like that game, that might be the better call between the two. But objectively speaking, Halo Infinite's kind of in a way better spot right now. That's kind of, that's that's what it looks like. That's what I would say. All right, so I have a, a level and a boss fight. Those two might actually, I was hoping to get up around 200 calories burned, which is, involves some work. Hi. wonder if the slower pace of Halo versus Battlefield has anything to do with that. Well, yeah, I guess that's a good point. Um, any other publisher on the planet than Microsoft and Halo Infinite probably wouldn't have had its extra year or another delay. Like, it's... It's been delayed a number of times and missed, missed like, some loose windows it was supposed... It was theoretically supposed to hit. I think Spencer said it was supposed to launch with the series. Series X... Or Series Xbox consoles. But then that didn't happen. So... But, I mean, no big deal. Uh, time and time again, it's proven that, like, you know... Delaying and uh, making sure that things are pristine when they hit is always the right call. The thing that no one ever says after that, though, is that not everyone can afford to do that. Everyone always, like, holds up these examples from giant companies with huge bankrolls taking their time to make a game. And that's not fair. That's just straight up not a fair comparison. Um, but anyway. Uh, the newest with the Activision Blizzard drama? Yeah. Allegations that, uh... That Bobby Kotick legit legitimately knew there were multiple problems and downplayed them to the board, uh, which is so the big problem. The big problem with that is not necessarily for like for visibility or verification that Bobby Kotick is evil or whatever. It's that Bo if if Bobby Kotick misdirected the board of directors, he could get fired. Like they could vote him out for that, and that's that's a huge deal. And also given their positioning in the market. They did just announce that they have, like, no dates for stuff. Um, uh, and uh, if, if the board votes off the president of the company that's been running it for the last 30 years, that's going to be a huge disruption to their stock price and their ability to get and maintain funding. So, I don't know. That would be very, very disruptive. We'll see. Yeah, there's a new Wall, Wall Street Journal article. And the fact that Jen O'Neill, like, left already is real bad. The the one lady that they put in there, the first female executive, has already quit. They couldn't even retain her. Not even to look good. Like, how much money would you pay somebody to just be like, please don't quit. All you have to do is just sit there and make money. Well, dump trucks of money. We'll back it up to your house and empty it into your front living room. Just do not quit, please. 
Just because you, you're trying to like buy away that headline and ah, still. Anyway. Huh, yeah, crazy shit. Absolutely crazy shit. Oh boy. We got an arm level. I've already got all the big boys up, kind of loaded up already. Kickback is actually pretty good. It's cra Kickback is crazy because it hits this muscle in my back that keeps keeps wanting to like lock up. So it's really good. It's really good practice. That's kind of how it feels. Let's see here. What are you taking the place of? I, I just functionally can't excuse having a, a life recovery ability. What's this about? Just more Activision Blizzard stuff. Oh, oh, Mike, my bad. I totally misunderstood you. You meant the actual speed of the game. Halo's like running through two feet of water. Battlefield's like being on crack. Maybe that's why people are more chill playing the game. Well, I don't know that people are chill playing Halo. There's there's some tryhards out there. But... I... Th I think the slower pace of Halo can... Maybe help people visually digest what's going on. To me, the speed of Battlefield was always communication that you don't need to care too much about the nuts and bolts of what's happening. You're inside of a giant, like, chaotic battle theater. And you and your squad can do stuff and see the effects of that, like capturing points. That's good visual feedback, but yeah. The, like, beat-to-beats of, of gun combat is just so outrageous. That is more like, you've won- like, the second the trigger gets pulled, you've won or lost based on your positioning, your equipment and what your squad's doing. Whereas Halo is more like a dog fight or a knife fight, something like that. Uh, but yes, Mike, I, I apologize. You, you, let me, let me put it like this. If I ever just go on, go off on some shit because of something that somebody in chat said, it's not necessarily always a response to that thing. It's just that I, I get, uh, I get activated and go. All right, let's go. Now here's an issue. Okay, let's fly. With the mic picking, with a, with no noise gate on the mic, there might be more thumps and jumps and squats and explosions. Who knows? Hopefully, it's not uh, not too noisy. Keep pushing me in against yeah. your stomach. Keep it up. Got a flying thing. Ooh, talk about a stiff breeze. Clap your wings to increase your speed. This is a really dangerous move, because if the ring slips off of your abs, you it can fire down your stomach and whack your dick. So be aware of that, fellas. Make sure that the ring is firmly situated in your abs and that you are maintaining motor control at all times. What the? Bullshit. Bullshit. That was my Hochi to leave. Like Whatever. Alright, let's get to it. Right up kickback. Man, bow pull is so good. What are we doing here? Alright. Okay, let's go. Hold your elbows. Yes. I already feel a kick back there. A little muscle. So chicken tendy. Perfect. I yeah, I, I was biking around LA for like Very two nice. and a half years. Fantastic. I'm sure that has something to do with it, but I've always had giant right. legs. Uh, I attribute it to just walking and running a lot. Fine. So oh, I always liked walking as opposed to car car driving. So. I walked to junior high and back um, when I was like a young, a young lad. I was also kind of, I've been overweight basically my entire life. So up until I want to say age 20, 25, 26, I tried to lose weight just by running. So I would eat like utter garbage and then I would go on like a three or four mile run at night every day. So, uh, I mean, probably gave me a really good cardiovascular. Gave me crazy legs, but uh, I didn't lose weight because I was still eating like 3,500 calories of fast food every day. Neat! Amazing! 
Yeah, yeah, I think if, if you Nice! If you've been overweight nice. and active, you kind of overtrained your legs your entire life. So I think that's kind of part of it. So now to achieve perfect fitness, what I have to Good. do is lose body weight and then put on some uh, some more upper body muscle mass. Just balance everything out. Great! Excellent! I walked walk so much. Oh, yeah. I walked so much that I was scared it wouldn't okay. be as skinny as. Nice! Cool. Your message just happened. Or is that a visual representation of how skinny you are? Rain could also slip out of your hands and fly across the room, which would be entertaining, like an angry flying donut. I have yet to I have yet to have that happen. Um that does sound fun though. As skinny as I am, gotcha. Yes! Gotcha, that makes sense. Increase your pace! Neat! Great! Nice! Five more! You got it! Keep it up! Three! Okay! What? Hey. Nice! Oh, God. Okay, let's yeah, it makes, it makes this guy back here burn like crazy. It's only on the left side, too. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Okay, let's move. Hold your grip as firmly as you can. All right! Perfect! Amazing! Good job! Nice! Okay! Nice! Fine work! Nicely done! Fantastic! Wonderful! Very light thing, Keep steady it. at that angle. For okay. Yeah. Excellent. Challenge yourself. Great. Well done. Come on. Five more. Okay. Yes. Yes. Three. Very nice. One left. Flawless. Uh. Oh. How does the Ring Fit game hold up compared to the Wii Fit game? Um, hmm. I would say Ring Fit is much more broad and. Wii Fit is not really a game. I guess is where I would start. We fit as a collection of like interesting, like electronic tools or toys. Ring Fit is a is a full video game sort of experience. It's got a tile screen. It's got save files. It's got progression. It's got levels. It's got a plot. So it's got all that stuff. Uh, it also is much more, in terms of the exercise, uh, much more full body. We Fit was pretty, pretty isolated to balance exercises, which yeah, it's it's scale. Um, but this has this, which gives, basically opens up a, a realm of, like moderate resistance exercises. And I'm gonna open a window. Or am I? I'm yelling a lot. Oh, jeez. 
can you do ring fit with light? Light. I don't know what that means. Switch light. Oh. No. Wait. I suppose you could. Yeah, why not? Wait. Yeah. You just couldn't dock it, right? But, yeah. I, you could just prop your switch up on a, on a shelf and do it. The display... Yeah, it, it's these joy -Cons. So, yeah, I don't see why not. It might be a little awkward uh, because the screen's small. But that actually might be something you might want to, like, Google just to see. You'd have to buy separate Joy-Cons. Oh, that's true. Uh, Pop a waddle. I forgot that, um, I forgot the Switch Lite Joy-Cons don't come off. That's a good point. Yes, you absolutely do need the Joy-Cons to separate. I want to try and I don't want to buy a new Switch. Uh, okay, then I would definitely like Google it. I'm sure somebody else has asked. Um, and Nintendo's usually pretty good about providing like that sort of compatibility data. So there's probably a very austere looking Nintendo website somewhere that says specifically with an asterisk on the bottom of the page uh, how that functionality should work. Okay. This is a very kinetic exercise. I'm debating muting the mic for this, but I'm going to leave it on for now. I'm going to turn this fan on. I'm getting a little, getting a little activated already. C-Lift Combo. Someone's ringing the door. Hold on. Okay, weird. Uh... I guess they're doing, they're trying to run uh, internet lines or something, so they just needed access to the yard. So, if I disappear, you know, it was some, some suspicion with Comcast maintenance employees. Move super energetically. Holds it ready. Whoa. Okay. Left. Right. Lower down. Raise up. Left. Right. Lower down. Raise up. Left. Right. Lower down. Raise up. Left. Right. Right, lower down, raise up, left, right, lower down, raise up, left, right, lower down, raise up. Use a full range of motion for maximum effect. Raise up, left, right, lower down, raise up, left, right, lower down, raise up, left, halfway there. Raise up, left, right, lower down, raise up, left, right, lower down, raise up, left. Oh, your muscles look so happy. Thank you. Kind of them to ask you. Yeah. Are they, aren't they? Don't they have to? They can't just enter private property. What's up, Mushmouth? Hello and welcome. Ugh. Wait, hold on. But my phone's still in my pocket. in this game. Uh, there is gear. You have a top, shorts, and shoes that have attack and defense b stats. Uh, you can buy Yay! smoothies. Ugh. You can buy smoothies that give you stat buffs in combat, defense buffs, raise health. Uh, you can buy ingredients that you use to craft smoothies that are your battle items, so it has a lot of video game shit. Uh, it's got vendors, subquests. <laughs> Smash by? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Keep definitely felt the. Uh, definitely felt the. The twinge, something I did want to keep private. It's also when I listen to a lot of music, 
So doing this actually prevents me from discovering a lot of new stuff. But uh, this is just where I'm at in fitness for now. This is my short-term goal, is to cut, cut my calorie intake, increase my calorie burn. Something like this, I feel like is pretty good at it. Uh, good at just maintaining general fitness, but also burning calories. Uh, and then yeah, getting paid to work out is also it's a nice perk. Okay, let's select a skill. All right now, it's time for both. Vocal. This one's really, really good for me because of my shitty back. Okay, let's this move. Camera, that's Be sure your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are all left. All right. No. Fantastic. Fleshmouth, you've misunderstood. I was not asking for recommendations. Amazing. Because I already have plenty. <laughs> Recommending more things to me doesn't create time for me to listen to them. That's the issue. However, there is media share tomorrow. Okay. So if you don't mind putting quarters in the jukebox, you can trot out your musical recommendations then. Fantastic. And that is also getting paid to work out, getting paid to listen to music, getting paid to watch YouTube videos. I mean, I keep the price as like cheap as I possibly can. It's like a dollar and change per minute, but. Yeah, it's the me time aspect for sure. I gotta, it's actually really easy to just not have any of that. <laughs> it's easy to give that all away. Keep it up. So, I gotta, gotta remember to reinforce some boundaries. Amazing. I probably shouldn't be streaming today, to be honest. Nice. The step is out and I couldn't resist. Also, I just really, really, really wanna finish Metroid so I can pack this Wii U that's sitting on the floor back in a storage bin and forget about it. Oh, Mush, thank you for gifting a sub. Appreciate that. Thank you. There it is. First sub of the day. Bashing out these reps. I have to keep like reaching back and massaging a particular knot. I try to make sure that it doesn't lock up okay. in the middle of a set or something. Because when that happens, then I start using the wrong muscles and you know, I feel like Good job. I feel like then the workout's not doing what it should be. It must be weird to, Amazing. should I stream this by default for every activity you do? Um, a little bit. I mean, some things there's no question for, right? Some things, mu some things will always remain private just because I value them so much. But yeah, um, you ever get the feeling here, you offer too much of your life to your Let's viewers, or are you pace. happy with how much you're offering with how much your viewers return? Damn, that's a really good question. Okay. Um, you got it. I'm pretty happy. I don't resent anything. Any, anything I do, I knowingly put out there. So it's not like it's a surprise. Um, and I, I honestly don't... I don't overshare, I don't think. Especially compared to other, like, influencers and stuff on the internet. You know what it is? Uh, anonymous. Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you for gifting us up. To immaculate misconception. Which is a really fun thing to say. Um, one thing I... I've seen this trend, like... There are people who genuinely put themselves out there. And inevitably, someone has a big problem with some part of who they are, and then something about that in ensuing exchange creates huge problems for them and ruins, ruins or dents their public image. Alternatively, you have people who put, put themselves out there, but it's always the safest, scrubbed, cleanest version of themselves. And maintaining that persona is just like, it's a part of the job, I guess. I don't want to do either of those things. I don't want to. I don't want to expose myself to the world because I don't. I don't need or crave the validation that might give. And I'm certainly not convinced that uh, it would lead to fame or, or wealth. Uh, I also just don't have the endurance to maintain a facade of a public image. So instead, I just don't really put a lot of myself out there. Very nice. And awesome. there's this, but. I've learned that, like, the things you say and the way you act, unless you're, like, mega popular and there's people scrubbing your shit for things to be upset about, it usually doesn't, like, no one goes three and a half hours into a random stream for some random conversation. Good job! Excellent! That's right, Toasty. Yes! Yes! Doing the hardest gaming. Nice! Wonderful! 
wonderful. Great! Amazing! Probably blur, blur some boundaries, but what are your opinions on showcasing your e-motorbike? Well, like, that's... That's something I don't see the point in. Because it's not like I'm going to always be making electric motorbike content. So... It would just be, like, one thing, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I guess I don't see the point. Uh, for, for me, anyway. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm being a little selfish about it. Perfect. Would be an instant one-off of anything? Okay. Yeah, and, and like, what... Nice. I don't know, what's the value of that? <laughs> I guess. That's more of just, like... Yeah, that's that's sort of like exposing parts of your private life for the sake of public image building. But I don't I don't need people to think I'm cool, I guess. Ah, code switching, yes. It's fascinating in respect to parasocial relationships. Yeah. It's vegan at giraffe, it's funny you bring that up, because I was recently at a at an event where like multiple multiple parts of someone's like multiple social circles were all in one event. And and Typically when that happens, the social circles just can deal around each other because that's, that's who, you, who you have to talk to and what's comfortable. But uh, what's interesting is when like, it's like when your work when your work group hangs out with your personal friends, you know? You're a different person to each of those, each of those groups and you have a different social role. And then your brain kind of snaps when you realize you have to be both at once or that these, these worlds are colliding. So yeah, uh, I've, I've thought a lot about that too. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with where the, where the boundaries are in my life, I guess. Mainly it's just like, I consider, I consider my life with Steph to be pretty personal. Um, and I've thought about that too, like, I never, I never want her to interpret my lack of, so, of social media expression to be like an element of shame or that I'm trying to exclude her from an image that I'm crafting. No, it's, it's more like, Fantastic. that's just for me, I can support that. Fantastic. Um, and I never, I never for a second want to invite anyone's commentary on that part of my life. I think that's the other part of it. It's like, I just don't even want to see it. Because out of all out of all the things in my life and how long I've been on the internet, that's the, like the last fucking thing. Good. Let's keep going. People have, tr like trolls have tried to, to come at that angle before. Great. Come on. Good. Good. Three. Yes. So I'm just not even gonna invite it. Not even gonna, not even gonna make it an option. Rush lift. Oh, is this the knee lift one? Jeez. Quick question about ring fit. Over time, have you felt the ring lose its tensile strength or elasticity? I don't think so. No. Um, but I've also used it, you know, over the course of a hundred days. So even if it were losing its elasticity, um, I probably wouldn't be able to tell. Uh, so that's that's. Uh, if, if there were a fresh one right next to me and I can give them both a squish, then then I could tell you. But uh, it, I mean, it feels it's still hard to do the workout. I'll say that. I have not I have not incidentally found the physical exertion easing off. Oh, my mic setup is actually I turned off my uh, noise gate, so you're grabbing more room noise, and then I I turned on the compressor. Keep it up. Right. Strike. Oh, oh what the fuck? Is this? What the hell are you? What the fuck are you having me do, game? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Amgard! Jacking off a giant? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think having boundaries is a very healthy thing. CGP Grey has a great video that isn't dissimilar to recognizing what Code Switch called Lockdown Productivity Spaceship U. Huh. Hmm. With your legs back. That's an interesting squeeze. I don't know if that's the thrust of the video, but that's an interesting concept. Lockdown kind of forced everyone to adopt a or by necessity of socialization to be a little more uh, internet focused, I guess, Select with their uh, personas. Okay. Protein shaker. Legs? Why did you 
damp legs, you jerk. You're gonna make me do white squat. I don't wanna do white squat. Or overhead squat, god damn. Mm. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. The green on the avatar just ambient light. Super energetically. Left, right, lower down, raise up, 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 left, right. Be sure to extend your back. Left, right, lower down, raise up, left, right, lower down, raise up, left, right, lower down. Raise up, halfway there. Lower down, raise up, left, right. Lower down, raise up, left, right. Lower down, raise up, left. 20 more. Raise up, left, right. Lower down, raise up, left, right. Lower down, raise up, left, right. 10 more. Raise up, left, right. Uh. No! Okay, that's fine. Be sure to stay high. Uh, uh, thank you, Sean. Uh, whatever. Oh yeah, he went defense up too. Oh boy. Okay, let's go. Bend your hands lightly for more force. Excellent. Perfect. Oh, much. Thanks for gifting a sub to Cammy. Appreciate you. Oh. All right. Okay. Ah, ah. The video touches on the importance of separating work and cool down periods, especially with work from home situations. Just reminded me of code switching. I should watch that. Because when I, sw when I switch to being self employed, any hour can be a work hour, you know? On top of that, Stephanie works from home too. And she doesn't keep regular work hours either. So our work and our personal lives have just become this blob that sort of shifts and, and ebbs based on what's happening on what day and what other obligations we have. And it's just kind of made, it really has made living day to day. Uh, planning maybe like three or four days in advance, but there's no like nice. expectation of routine. Which is, well done. I don't know. Amazing. I. Great. When I was in a route, I still don't think I like. Oof. I like being impulsive, and I want to retain the ability to be impulsive. But there is a certain disassociation. Ah, that's the word I'm looking for. Disassociation that comes along with just just work and personal time being whenever. It basically means that they, in terms of scheduling, they sort of decrease in priority to other events that happen at specific times. So that's interesting. I've been thinking about that. Now turn How, like, your exercise into experience. The ranking of my tasks pose. has shifted around. Charge your squat power, but don't overextend yourself. Release to victory! And how if I, if since my personal time and the things that I can do for me are the things I can do whenever, typically it feels like they're then last on the priority queue, which means they often get, Lightly covered they often just get camera uh, covered up by something else. Has shown. 
measuring. Please do not move your... And thank you, Mushmouth, for gifting another sub to Sean. Appreciate you. How much did this thing cost? I think it was 80 bucks. The platform you're playing on, it is only on the Nintendo Switch. Because you, uh... You actually plug the Joy-Cons themselves into the exercise equipment, and the, there's like a thigh strap. No. Stay hydrated, you got it. We got Drago up next. You think I'm gonna puss out? You think I'm gonna a floppy dick out? We need like, we need more, we need more pejoratives implying failure about dicks. So like, cause it's like, you think I'm gonna puss out? Come on now. Why are we implying vaginas are always leaving the situation? You think I'm gonna, you think I'm gonna softy on out of here? You think I'm gonna lick, limp dick roll away? No, what do the drinks do? Here, I'll show you. So, defense power up, heart recovery, extra turn. Would it be able right to post the, uh, yeah, uh, vegan giraffe. Feel free to post the video. I'm I'm pretty chill with links in chat most of the time, as long as it's not like, as long as it's related to the to conversation at hand, instead of like just promotion, you know. But if you're working on something and you're proud of it and you want people to see it, then it's okay. It's mostly just like, uh, like promoting other streams or something like that. That's a bit tasteless. But... Also, if it's a close per- well, no. <laughs> I get to promo other streams, uh, not you. Are you gonna do blow your load? Yeah. Early load blow? You gonna blow your load on out of here? Start premature ejaculating and your the fire hose pressure of all your premature semen will blast you out of the room? Is that what's gonna happen? Good lord. This is why I closed the window. So the Comcast folks no. wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't ask me uncomfortable questions. Wait. Wait, Mr. Drago is not here? Eh? Bullshit. <sighs> what? It's not even Drago. Uh... It would feel too awkward to post personal stuff, especially since I bet and lost 250,000 hat coins and got banned. That's a that's life for you. I'm gonna order a 1650 GPU and get a new power source. Should I get a 600 watt or a 700? I mean, what's the difference in price? I hmm. What's a 1650? What is that? Do you have anything else plugged into your computer? Twenty series non -R RTX GPU. Hmm. Well. I mean, if it's not that much difference, you might as well buy the clearance. I think you're probably safe with either. Uh, you could look at the return policy for the store. And, like, taking a, taking a GPU in and out of the case is really not that hard to do. So if you're worried about it, just look at the return policy, get the cheaper one. If it starts sputtering on you, return it. Um, and, then, and then, as usual, you're just looking at the trade-off of your time and your money and your your headache of shipping this thing back and forth. Um, presuming they have a return policy that'll, that'll work for that. Okay. It's gonna be a long fight, a lot of squats. Oh, oh that's right, my, uh, my move list is still very upper body oriented. That's fine, I've been doing a lot, of, a lot of core and leg in this game lately. Okay, let's fly! Just got a DOA motherboard. Haven't sent it back. Ugh. Yeah, that process can be time consuming. I have a lot of 
a lot of... Ah. I have a fair amount of, like, stuff I need to give away that'll make my workspace a lot cleaner. Score! I got some cards to mail, too. Yeah, I think that's probably Speed probably what it was. Keep it up. You got it. Touch the metal. Need it so bad. I'll never be happy without it. Keep going. Fuck. God. There's some fucking technique to this that's not making sense to me. I think it's the it's the same problem as before. Like Abgard. There it is. Yep. Okay. I wasn't squeezing enough on the sides. Ah, well, I'll have to come back and do that shit later. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Is that a little yoga ball? Balance ball sisters? Oh. Suffer fish? Oh, oh, oh. Enemy's color, then select a skill. Hmm. Warrior one pose. She wait. Yeah. Find some green tea. Yeah, I, I so it was awkward when I was pulling it into my stomach, my forearm kept scraping on the Joy-Con, since it's on top. I, I don't know. I was trying to figure out how to reposition my arms to get the proper rep on it. Warrior one. Left foot forward. Right leg forward. Oh, then your forward leg is fine. I can flex on this granny. Oh, she's gonna get it. Hmm. Slowly bend to the left. Slowly return to the starting position. Lengthen your back, keeping your upper body vertical. Switch Why is a flower blooming lotus legs. the weapon now? Uh, because it's a yoga exercise. So it's about calm and peace and inner tranquility. It's about balance and harmony. I don't know how else you illustrate that. I think a blossoming lotus is actually a pretty good, pretty good imagery. But yeah, that's the idea. Uh, you can even hear like. You can sort of hear Indian influence in the music too, because it's the guru and ma, the grandma. But she's also the like yoga master, which is why she's on a ball. That's why the music sounds like this. This game rules. This game rules really hard. Hard ruling is what this game does. Slowly bend to the right. Slowly return to the starting position. Only raise your shoulders within your range of comfort. I'm finding myself twisting. I'm sure they're missing. Almost over. Blech. 
Mega ab guard. It's in all caps. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Feet wide apart. End of the recon. Wait, what? Okay. Lower your hips. Yeah. Fuck you. Hold in on the ring cut and keep bending your legs. Oh, that was rough, but we toughened up. Fuck. Back press. No! Uh, I think last time I did this, it just sort of flipped out. <laughs> press in firmly on the ring con. Okay! Keep squeezing the ring con. Okay! Nice! It's like flexing at me. You ready to try to flex on me? Holy cow. Ugh. Punched a grandma. She punched herself. Okay. I don't have any more prunes. I mean, sure, that'll work. Actually, get here. That's right. Training can't mess with a gamer. The boomers don't okay, understand. Let's go. Be careful not to lower your elbow. Okay. Great. Amazing. Okay. Good job. Keep it up. Amazing! Excellent! Nicely oh, done! They have so much health! <laughs> Alright! Wonderful! Well done! Nice! Excellent! <laughs> donkey punching this grandma into submission. She's on a she's on a squishy ball. It's just like boing boing. It's not as it's not as bad as it looks. Okay, that's the important thing to remember. It's not as bad as it looks. Imagine getting canceled. Playing ring. 
canceled live playing Wingman. Hmm. Well, thanks for gifting another sub. Sure. I appreciate you picking up everyone in chat today. Yes. Right neighborly of you. Fantastic. Nice. Increase your pace. Very nice. Keep it up. Excellent. Okay. I was kind of hoping that this would knock out the yoga ball and at least give me some starter damage okay, on the other let's one. Go. Target your back with this one. Okay. Excellent. Fantastic. Amazing. Fine work. I guess if it, Perfect. If I wanted to be really. Well, there's a little bit of pop there, not a whole lot. Great. I think tricep extension would be the more. No, oh, maybe not. I gotta find it there we go. I have to do tricep extension just like that. So that that one, that bump shows off. I pick you up every day? Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Of course, very gratifying to hear that. Well done! Nice! Great! All those coming down. Watch out for that. Ooh. All right! That was crazy. Like with that, when I did that one rep with my elbow back up, I felt this like tension snake around the front of my back, front of my uh, body to my back, and then something went, like something popped back there, but it, like went zoop. So weird, man. Good job. Cosmic Cats. Still plenty of stream to go. Fantastic! Amazing! Steph's out of the house today. Yes. So, nothing yes. to do but to game. Very. Like, game and cook. Legit, I'm excited for. I have some, like, really healthy-ass recipes I want to try. There's, like, a veggie bowl, and then... There's, I got this, some, like, whole wheat pasta. Oh shit. Abgar. Shit. I was supposed to kill it. You feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. You get that when you reach for the two here though? Long stretch. Cool. She's stepping on me, Grandma! Grandma make me smell her smell her feet! Gross, Grandma. Why do you do this every Christmas? Be sure to stay hydrated. Uh, I mean, this will definitely take out the green one. Uh, yeah, this one's fine. It's just fine. Well, I still have power up on the red, so I'm gonna go. Try step kickback. So I've I've kind of estimated. I've ballparked the numbers. It seems like if they're if they're a color, if they're weak to the color you're using, that's like 30% more damage. I'm not sure exactly how much you get for the smoothie. But it's less. Um, I think it's like maybe 10. So, I don't know. Punk ass Parker, what's up? Good to catch you live again. It's never a dull moment. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I tend to Okay. I tend to think go. there's Hold a fair amount of uh, Well, I'll say chill. Well Run your pretty chill. Okay, I'm All right. Keep it up. But now we're getting okay. hot. Done. Not chill. In fuego. Good job. Oh yeah, monstrous Brad. I don't know what to do with Ripper, man. Nice. Um, it's not even a question that I wouldn't mind restarting so much. It's more the issue of like, I don't know how to because I restarted and I played back to that point. And the, the destination still didn't appear on my travel list in Ripper. So, I don't know what to do. Um, 
my only next idea is to like find a long play and just follow it step by step until Fantastic. it gets to the point where they go there. Okay. And if the long play can go there and I can't, I don't know what to do. Great. Then maybe I just gotta buy like buy it retail on eBay or something and try to use that version. Like install it and play it through DOSBox instead of the sort of doctored version that I downloaded from the internet. Does the ring have much weight to it? Not really, no. Um, the thing is, these are these are like tempo reps. Like normally when you do a tri extension or whatever, you're using like a cable machine and, well, ideally you're using a cable machine or something. And you're just like going down and up, right? Um, this is different because you're like, you're holding something up here, but you're holding it against gravity and you have to hold it there for a while. So uh, maybe I'm assuming a little too much dirty marker, but let's see here. It feels about as heavy as my phone. Uh, maybe a little heavier because it has the Joy-Con in it, but it's pretty light. Um, but if you want to simulate the exercise, if you're trying to get a feeling of how it would feel, you can do the same thing, get in the same pose, hold your cell phone, and just hold it out like that. Uh, and you can try it for the same, same like time period I'm doing. It seems so easy for the first six or seven reps. And for me, it's really, it's just this stabilizing muscle right here, where I have to kind of like pinch in my shoulder blade to hold my arm like that. That's the thing that starts killing me, more than my, more than my tricep, but... Excellent! Yeah. Amazing! It's a, it is a really fun way to exercise. And I am, uh, I'm not a, you know, I wouldn't consider myself a fitness expert by any means. But I am, I am at least awesome. very impressed with the craft of the game. Uh, yes. the way that the exercises are tuned. Uh, they work a lot of muscle groups Great. and do it in pretty inventive ways, especially given the the really okay. Like you don't really have that much equipment, and they manage to to find a way to impact a lot of very important muscle groups through compound movements and stuff. So there's a and like it was Nintendo. It, it blows my mind, really. Nintendo. They don't do this all the time, but this game feels like it's the fifth version of these kinds of games, if everyone were making them. Like, it feels like it's that refined, but it was really just Nintendo making it the first time on them, on themselves, man. It's crazy. Good job. I love it. Very nice. Fantastic. Ugh. Five more. Come on. You got it. Three. Great. Nice. One left. Nice. Okay, let's switch sides. Let's switch sides. Okay, let's move. Like you're carrying something heavy. Very nice. Like you're Wonderful. carrying something heavy. Fantastic. Perfect. Yes. Yes. All right. story to this game, yes. Uh, but it's like, it's a storybook story. Basically, Drago, is, he's, he became ripped and then became evil. Uh, you're going around trying to find all of Tip's powers. Tip is the guy who's in the ring there. He's the guy, he's a little like ink and head at the bottom who gives you, who's like talking to you the whole time, encouraging you while you're playing. So you're trying to help out this guy. He's, he's a chill dude. Um, Every world has a story too, but it's super basic. Amazing! It's usually like, oh no, my dog ran away. And then you have to like, work. go beat up fitness monsters until you find their dog. Great! Awesome. Most worlds are revolve around getting one of the powers back. And those are like in-game abilities too, so double jump, the ability to go through rivers, things like that. You'll hit a level that has a really long gap that you can't jump, and be like, no, we have to jump! And then Wonderful. go find a medallion that gives you jump jump power. All right! Great! Let's so it's there. Place. It's 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 video gaming. Yes! Yes! Great! Five more! You got it! All right! Neat. One left. Right off. Perfect. 
right, Sino, you know, it is ring fit time. I'm doing a boss fight. Reminds me of Spyro? Yeah, I guess I could see that. Yeah. Keep squeezing. It's a shame Drago is not here. Because I've seen some Spyro the Dragon art that rivals Drago. Oh god, my right arm is very sore after that last set. I kind of burned out after that last set. Keep going. Screenshot. Select the skill. Uh, this is kind of a sort of relaxation set. Let's see your really high damage ability. Probably not enough to kill, but I'll overhead press. And I should play Spyro. I never played any of the Spyros, any of the Jack and Daxters. I tried, I got through a couple of the Ratchet and Clanks because I was trying to catch up on that series. But... Okay, let's I go. Feel like, well, I don't know, you guys tell me. The Spyro seems to have a huge well following. Excellent. Very nice. Hmm. Perfect. Maybe I should just play it. I should just play it and find out. Out of the like, out of the PlayStation platformer mascot era of like PS1, PS2, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot. Which uh, maybe maybe I shouldn't mix PS1 and PS2, but like, what's the pinnacle? What's the best? What's the best young adult PlayStation anthology? Ratchet and Clank is still ongoing. It's kind of the only one. No, that's not true. They made a they, yeah, they made a Crash Keep Bandicoot before. The God of War. <laughs> I guess yeah, that was kind of the that was the segue, wasn't it? God of War was kind of the moment that PlayStation PlayStation first party things were were less like big eyes gaha and more threesomes and ripping people in half. Fun to see the products grow up like that. But yeah, what was the first, like, edgy, edgelord M-rated Sony Studios game? Because God of War came out before Killzone, I'm pretty sure. And I don't think Sony Computer Entertainment made anything that was that edgy. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, I like this. There's going to be a block of text. It's still on topic to code switching in the video. When I was a cognitive science major, we learned about how we tell when we want to sleep or eat with the signals being physical. I'm in the kitchen, the sun is X in the sky, chemical, a lot of stomach acid, equals my tummy wants food, or temporal, 12.30 means it's lunchtime. The video, CGP Gray specifically, dives into the physical and temporal ones that I had learned in those classes over the years. It's quite a sound video, as I've read research papers on addiction remedies through changing a routine by physically avoiding the places, moving out of the house or even a city in which temptation is present. Yeah, um, hmm. I agree with all of that. Uh, it's, it's interesting, specifically, you mentioned the stomach acids, meaning I'm hungry. I think, I'm coming to learn that I think a problem with my food consumption has been that for a couple of years I was misinterpreting stomach discomfort as hunger because food would make it go away but yeah I think I think excessive drinking may have messed with my stomach lining a little bit and made me think I was hungry when I wasn't so but yeah how like wires can get can get crossed and I think specifically how how Kind of on the subject of uh, forcibly altering your environment to alter your decision-making trees. How like, how the behavior you want to change is downstream of other be behavior decisions that you may not realize are connected. And just like you might not be able to change the fourth decision in the line, but as long as you realize they're all connected, you can change the first one, no problem. Like the fourth one is the one that you keep getting stuck on. But if you didn't do number one, you wouldn't do two and three that lead to four. So uh, yeah. I've, I've found a lot of success with that when it comes to like avoiding situations for binge drinking or for eating unhealthy food. It's like, it's not like when I'm in that moment 
How do I beat myself up and make myself just forcibly not do the thing? The better question is, how do I not even be there in the first place? Like, that's that's the easiest path to victory, is just not be there. Uh, so, um, I, I, this is crazy, but what, what honestly led me down that path of thinking was playing Doom Eternal a lot. Is like, there would be situations where I die, and my initial thinking was, okay, I died because I got shot. I died because I didn't land that one hit. I died because I missed that health pickup. And sure, but like, then the only remedy is we'll just play better or shoot better or try to get to it next time. There's, no, there's nothing actually functionally different. Um, my play started really improving once I was like, okay, why was I in the situation where I needed a health pickup in the first place? I should have never been there. And if I can prevent that from happening, then it's a moot point. Um, so, and then I started to improve pretty, pretty specifically. Uh, or pretty, uh, when, once I started looking at the flow chart of of decisions and consequences, it became a lot easier to identify a more efficient path to get to where I wanted to go. Okay. Nice. All right. Well done. I did intermittent fasting and it got me kind of used to being hungry. Yeah. Yes. It is, I think it is possible to, Sharp. through exposure therapy, train your brain to ignore some of the more mild mild uh, hunger cravings. I've been dieting for about 10 months now and I've lost 85 pounds! 325 to 240. Oh my god. Congratulations. All through keto. In your opinion, what is the best long-term diet? Um, Thickmus. That's a great name. Um, this is a cop-out answer, but whatever works is the best diet. Whatever gives you gets you to your fitness goals. Uh, so, keto seems to work for a lot of people. Um, I am not... I'm not a nutritionist. I haven't done any research. I know that some people can be pretty uh, opinionated about it, but okay. Everybody, everybody's body is so different. Everybody's mind is so different. Everybody's culture, uh, family, family food culture, taste, baggage, trauma—like all these things factor into what we decide to eat, how, and when. So. There's, yeah, truly, I think it's a, it's a personal process for everybody. Experimenting with different diets can help you discover things about yourself. What works, what doesn't work, what food you like, how it, how it reacts to your body. Uh, I think the important thing is, if you're, if somebody's still on there trying to discover a diet that works for them, to, to kind of, kind of connect it with what I was saying before. Stop trying to do the same thing over and over again. I made it a, an issue of willpower, of willpower and personal shame. Uh, I thought if I shamed myself more, it would give myself the willpower to just make the right decision. Uh, but that, I lost so much time to that. And it's so adversarial. It's, uh, it's a shame. Um, but I didn't really have any other, like, I, there were no other solutions that made themselves apparent to me. Uh, so once I started truly rolling it back and tinkering high level with my diet, that it, it didn't fix anything right away, but it gave me a bigger data set to work with about who I am and how I react to things. I feel like I'm in a good place now. I feel like I'm in a good place. It's just frustrating because I'll... I swear, I will... I will be so good for like three weeks. Have one or two day splurge, and then it's just all back to where it was. I feel like I have to... I have to be hyper vigilant for a month to get one day where I don't... I don't have to think about anything. And that's the like... That's the equal trade-off. I don't come out ahead in that. I come out neutral. And that's exhausting. But I guess that's life. Okay. So, Excellent. so this month I have Thanksgiving. Fantastic. Ten more. Great. Good. Okay. Is how, how to find rebalance after getting knocked off filter? That's true. Often, yeah. one day of splurging can turn into like work. three days of half splurging. Excellent. Which doesn't help either. So. Clicking the switch on and off very definitively. I can something terrible about Another the mega ab guard. We've gotta put up a strong guard. Hey, what's up, Luth Box? Good to see you. So, I don't know, in in the quest for something that works for you, your hips. Trying different diets is certainly a way to Certainly way to experiment. Away.
Yeah, yeah. But we toughed it out. Captures. I wonder if there's a way to turn that off. Take a break if you need to. Recently, I've started eating for sustenance instead of for flavor. I eat the same thing every day and nothing else, except when I go out with friends. I mean, that I believe that might work pretty well for you, but I think there are other people that have spiritual and emotional needs that are filled with good food. So, I think dudes have the ability to just, yeah, like, to just eat bachelor chow. But I think most people, if they tried that, they would emotionally break down like three or four days in and just need to eat something else. That's why dieting can suck so much ass. You spend time trying diets and not make them progress. Absolutely. No, it sucks. Don't let your bent knees. The good news is that is it is a lifelong process. So you're gonna be with your body your entire life. God willing. Unless some pretty crazy cyberpunk shit goes down. So you have time. I understand. I de believe me, I, want, I understand wanting to be at your fitness goal right now. Uh, but I'm still still taking. I'm still finding my way there. It's been, uh, I want to say. I've, I've always tried, I think. I think I've been trying more efficiently in the last three or four years, but even that hasn't been enough. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. I am basically giving up like all recreational drinking though. Slowly bend to the right. And in social situations now, Be I don't sure even to expand your go that hard. Raise your arm. Just like one Guinness, maybe two. Slowly return to the starting position. So yeah, I'm, that was kind of the last bastion. That was the last, like, truly, calorically wasteful, horrible thing I was doing to my body. Alcohol isn't worth the calories or the hangovers? Ah, uh, I think it, I mean, that's a relative statement. <laughs> I've had some really good cocktails and some really fun nights with friends. Got it. But there's certainly no excuse for it when you look at the math of it. There's no reason a rational human being would ever drink alcohol for <laughs> for any reason, really. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. Oh no! Give me the full split. Oh. Luck to skill and. Who drinks the dew? Good luck. Thank you very much for the sup. I really don't like having more than two to three drinks in an evening anymore. For reference, I just drink clean. That's good. You're in a good spot. All right. Leg raise. Oh, so you can have your elbows on the floor for leg raise. Oh. I need some water before I get in there.
Alright! Nice! Uh, uh, I see you, Cosmic. Uh, yeah, it'll be on YouTube in a day or two, I guess. Yeah, almost there, almost there. Just taking a little breather. Well done! Neat! were getting really sweaty. I was slipping around all over the floor because I wasn't on my mat. No! What the fuck? Are you for real? Ugh, okay. Come on, let me kick this mat over. Gotta do another fucking leg room. Let me get water. Hydration. Uh, Granny says, do it again. Okay. Raise your legs. Good job. Keep your legs raised. Yeah, the damage is nice. Ooh. Ooh. I 
get to do all these like big damage single target abilities. Our broken upper body. Yeah. The mark. Overhead press. I think this is the biggest damaging one that I've got. Okay, let's go. Good for working those upper arms. Fantastic. Nice. Me. Fantastic. Nice. Fine work. All right. Wonderful! Well done! Awesome! And damage scales up for each successful hit. Oh, no, no. That's, it's additive. Every, every, like, great attack does the same amount of damage. That's just the total damage I've done so far. So, it's not like... I'm not doing more damage with each hit. That's for sure. <laughs> Work time? All right, Mush. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good work day. I might be here when you're done, to be honest. I really want to finish Metroid today. I want to finish a game. San Andreas cock blocked me. Ripper cock blocked me. I want, I want to see some credits roll. I guess I beat Bright Memory Infinite. It's just been a while since I've polished off a long game. Anyway, have a good shift. What happened at San Andreas? There's a particular mission that just keeps locking up when it when it launches. It's one of the woozy missions in San Fierro. Wait, no. Uh, Los Venturas, excuse me. <sighs> oh, short and spicy. I'm taking breaks. When I walk forward and talk to Chad, it's not because they said something. It's because I'm using it as an opportunity to take a, a short break. Okay. Oh, Mushma, thanks okay. for getting five more subs. Great. Thank you very much. Perfect. Okay! Excellent! Now you have to have a good day at work. Very nice! Gifting subs sure. in this channel is like rubbing a Buddha's tummy. That's probably insulting to somebody, so I apologize. But... Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> I gotcha, gotcha. Some of you how you wanted to finish a game? Yeah. Tales? I mean, Tales of Arise is gonna take a while. Uh, I gotcha, short. No, you're good, you're good. Uh, there's that. I wanna, I wanna get back into Fantasian. I'm definitely going to finish Endwalker, if that's a thing you can finish when it comes out. I'm going to finish the five, Halo 5 campaign. I need to finish Vanguard. That's easy. That's like a couple of hours. I could just knock that out. I don't know. Finishing games has become such a... It used to seem like such a monolithic and universal experience. It's like finishing a movie. You've, you've experienced most of what this game has to offer. Good job. See you next time. But yeah, those that moment isn't like it doesn't mean that anymore. Most games don't even have endings. Yeah. Cuz they don't want you to stop playing. I don't know. There are indie games that have endings. Anything like below the AAA layer actually does have like you can finish it and it's like good job. So, I have to I I have to be honest, man, like a lot of the times, like, AAA has just become so big and so audience-serving that there's really not that much left of interest there. It truly has become, like, like if you're a movie enthusiast, the biggest releases... Like, you can tell everything about a movie from the poster kind of deal. I feel like, to some degree, that's kind of how games have gotten. Neat. Everything is the same mishmash of, like, gameplay types and mini-maps with icons and multiple meters that fill up to give you the right amount of unlockables and not the wrong kind of unlockables. Sharp. Who gave me a sub to the shameless e-boy stream? That's just how it goes here. This stream is the, uh... Perfect. It's the liberal utopia everyone always hoped for. Where there's shredded e-boys and free subs for everyone. Uh, What's up, sticker fan? Hello? 50 hours into Witcher 3 and I'm trying to do everything. I did. I did everything I could find to do. 
and it was a very rewarding experience. Witcher 3 actually also has an ending. Um, you can you can finish the game. It's got a really satisfying sort of conclusion, I guess you'd say. And all the side stuff, like you can definitely get to the point where you look at the mini map and there's nothing. Very nice. And that feels really good too. Yeah. Come on, ten more. Keep it up. Excellent. Reading, watching through your streams on YouTube of it. Really nice when you do the opposite of my choices. Hey! That's always cool. Why squat? Uh, fuck you, man. Lower your hips. Like, then you get to see all the all the dialogue that what didn't occur in your game? <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, all right, all right, all right. At least this will do damage. Okay. Keep your legs bent. Don't poo. <laughs> There's no pooing. Nothing I know of. Jesus. Might be able to finish this out on a pretty easy attack. Physically, still, still challenging though. One pose. Okay. Watermelon or peach. I like Sonic's peach rings a lot. I like watermelon mint a lot. I want to. I'm curious about this Miami Nights flavor. That kind of captured my my intrigue. I need to ask for a promo of that. I also have cans for the red and black ooze. The, the venom flavors. I'm curious about okay, those. Let's I haven't tried them yet. Don't forget to switch legs. That's right, Siegmeier. There's some gamer sizing happening today. Slowly bend to the right. Slowly return to the starting position. Peach yeah, Peach tea is really, really good. Or backward. I like that one a lot. I haven't tried the Demon Aid yet. I think next time my code's 30%, I'll just buy it for myself. Maybe, maybe they have enough left over to kick me a free tub now. door again. One second. Uh, okay, that was just the fine Comcast gentleman at the door again letting me know that they broke something. So I had to go take photos and leave a voicemail on, oh Jesus Christ, the baby squirter. Leave a voicemail on some foreman's phone because of course he didn't answer and I'm, no one's probably ever going to answer me ever again. Uh, and now Stephanie's gonna be pissed at me because something's broken, and yeah. 
It's one of those fun things where just like some bullshit someone else does costs you hours of your life. And that's just how the just how the world Drop works. Your hips. I dropped a mission, huh? Hey, what's up, Kelly Cat? I don't come to the stream often, but I see you've been playing this consistently. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you. Ah. Uh, luckily I'm just just rounding it out here. What? Oh, right. <laughs> I took this off to go deal with all that shit. Ugh. Not dead, but you cut off Gogeta's fusion. Don't worry, it'll be there later. Don't you worry. Try to bend your knees a little more. Alright. Victory! Mm. I get to be in the delightful position of, uh... Now I have to, like, I have to rely on somebody else doing the right thing when they don't have to. And that's never, never fucking works, man. <sighs> but, who knows. Maybe they'll just, maybe they'll just cut me a check and that'll be that. That'll be nice. I saw someone say they did 90 squats a day on Ring Fit, and it never gets easier. And is it normal? Well, I've... I mean, squats get a little easier, because it's just your body weight. It's not like it's progressive overloading. Gah! I imagine you'd probably be able to do more and more squats mm. as the days go by. It is still a challenging workout, though. Because kind of like kind of like other interval workouts, it gives you the ability to sort of scale your intensity. All right. World 12 complete. Not 100%, though. you got to come back later for some things. Hey, what's up, Pop-Tart? I'm on lunch at work, just wanted to say hello, hope you're doing well. Yeah, hopefully your, uh, hopefully your new job's going really smoothly. Now you're back down to one full-time job. Yay! Yay! I like the turning the ring into a, like a bowl of petals. So we're just like, bow pole hunter. Did you get a switch just for this game? This game is really, 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 uh, it's really wholesome and it's, it's really good. I like it a lot. Ooh, some upper body stretching. Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. Let's do it. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Stretch your left arm to the side and hold it with your right arm. Pull in your arm and stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. <laughs> now do the same on the opposite side. You're exercising for free? Be careful, Kelly, be not careful. to rotate your waist as well. Those lawyers are gonna kick in your door, throw you in handcuffs, but you'll be able to squirm out of them because you're so limber. Bring yourself back slowly. Tomorrow you have a day Raise off. Both yes. Both arms and pull down on your left elbow. I hope you sleep. Stretch your upper arms while pulling your I hope elbow. Hope your partner brings downward. you waffles. Do the same on the opposite side. I believe that Nintendo's sort of scummy about their game. Stretch yeah. slowly and don't hold your breath. They're uh, they're an efficient business, that's for sure. I know that, like, I guess Nintendo Switch Online is the thing everyone's mad about right now. Emulator bad. Bring yourself back slowly. It's crazy because Nintendo's online Use service right is still to pull back the fingers in your left hand. Mount, mountains cheaper than While every other service. Left wrist, but it's just the like proportional increase forward. that has people all pissed off. It, I don't know. The Nintendo Switch Online blowback is a really interesting case study in how people, how people appraise value. Now uh, do the same. How it's always relative. It's, it's not objective. Fifty dollars a year for an online service like that is still. Take care not to bend the elbow like, of the arm you're extending. Like what? Fifteen percent the cost of Xbox Live or PlayStation Bring Plus. Bring yourself back slowly. But 
It's because it went up by like 60%. It's your like a wrist large percentage increase your wrist to the for right. not Pull a proportional increase in value. So it's, it's the relativism that, that kills people. Yeah, it's so cheap. And there's like, I think Bring it still justifies its cost objectively. The speaking, direction as well. But focus on it's, stretching yeah, all it's, the way it's the from perception. your neck to each shoulder. That's really interesting. Once you've told people what something costs, they use that in comparison to everything else. So if you got this for twenty dollars a year, Bring yourself or whatever, back slowly. and now all of a sudden it's fifty dollars a year, well, it better be two and a half times Spread better, feet, or one and a half both times hands, better. And hold your left wrist. The fact that it's While pulling still your wrist, uh, tilt to the right. The fact that it's and still side. way below market value doesn't matter because people already established their pricing expectation. I actually read a really fascinating breakdown about how return to your uh, original position in the like hands mid to late nineties. Starbucks got away with charging so much for coffee because they had to reset Stretch people's slowly. opinions Don't overdo of it. what it was. It wasn't coffee, it was Starbucks. And that was all about the branding, the interiors, the, the changing of the size names. Like it's Bring not a medium, back it's a venti or whatever. And then your brain doesn't connect it to the $1.50 coffee you get and at 7-Eleven. It's a venti from Starbucks and those cost four fifty. So you don't make the comparison anymore. You don't think this shit is overpriced. I mean, some people did. But by and large, it worked, you know? So I find that I find that stuff really, really fascinating, especially when companies try to do it and don't uh, or fail. Um, that's all also really interesting to see. Cause like, why did that company get away with it? But that one didn't? Really cool stuff. Microsoft, like they're kind of doing it a little bit by changing from Xbox Live to Game Pass or sort of merging those, those, uh, merging those, those uh, services. But they're doing it by using people's price perceptions against them. So because they have the, the bankroll and the long-term game plan, they're like, we're giving you all these games in a subscription for like $1 a month to start. You know, it's, it's the Netflix model of blowing people away because their value expectations were over there. So for Netflix, it was like, I get one movie at a time, two movies at a time, it cost me X dollars a month. And then all of a sudden they were like, what if you had 800,000 movies for $20 a month. And suddenly the, the price expectation is used against it and it's blown away. Uh, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. Does a low BMI mean I'm healthy? BMI data is informational only. Somebody was mentioning this the last time I, I did Ring Fit. According to the World Health Organization standards, a typical adult BMI falls between 18.5 to 25, which is a pretty wide range. Keep in mind, however, that BMI information may not be as accurate for players with significant muscle mass or players under the age of 20 whose bodies are not yet fully developed. If you have questions about potential weight issues regarding you or your child, please consult a doctor. I tell myself that I'm a chonky boy because I have, I have Christian Bale levels of muscle under a thin but very bouncy layer of body fat. That's what I tell myself. So all I have to lose is like 15 pounds and I'm gonna be shredded. I think what's gonna actually be interesting is if I can lose all this body fat to actually see how much muscle mass I have because I don't think I have a whole lot on my upper body, if I'm, if I'm being honest. I think my legs will be fine. I think my ass will be fine. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be like all frail up top and then boom, still, still be huge <laughs> down and downstairs. Yes, I was talking about my dick. Uh, Travalek, or hold on. Travelech, there, or wait, no. Travelek, okay. I, I, I remember stumbling on this before and every time I think I dial it in and then I forget. Thank you for the reset. Thank you very much. All right, all right. Ring fit complete. Now I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna shave because I'm really fuzzy right now. And then I'm gonna cozy up with Metroid Other M because uh, I want to finish it so that I can pack this stupid Wii U. Uh, and fuck it, man. After that, maybe more Halo? I don't know. Bruce was asking if... Uh, I was gonna dedicate the day to, to Other M and now Bruce is asking to play Halo and I'm like, fuck, Halo's pretty fun. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, and since it's technically THC Tuesday, I'll put the MediaTek playlist on some, some weird stuff. Some weird stuff. Get ready for some weird stuff. See you in a little bit. Uh -huh.